Welcome to This Is Important, a production of iHeartRadio, the show where we only talk about what's obviously most crucially integral to the fabric of our very nature. Today we talk about all he wants for his birthday is a big booty hoe. Down into my nuts and then down my, down my thigh. I am beautiful no matter what you say. Me and two chains shared one meatloaf. <laughs> Here we go. Oh, we are back. I'm wearing the same shirt. <laughs> we got the board with us. Yeah, baby. What a week. What a week it's been. I'm in the same room wearing the same shirt. What is the all out show, Drew? Drew Jude's show on Shade 45. Ooh. Laundry day. Very Yo, oh, we're we showing shirts. Very funny. Has one of my favorite games of all time called Black, White, or Other. Yeah, where, that's a good uh, one. They read a headline and then people call in to guess if the person who the headline is about is black, white, or other. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's fucking. It's very funny. <laughs> it's very funny. Or other. other. It's basically people calling in being like, all right, well, you said he had like a samurai sword, so like he's probably some Japanese dude. Mm-hmm. <laughs> or people being like, no, nah, that's some funny. white shit right there. Or somebody being like, I don't know, I think that's probably a black guy. <laughs> basically, everyone calls in with like racist. <laughs> Racist reasons they yeah, think stereotypes, that. Yeah. Right. Uh-huh. <laughs> and then he's yeah. like, "Nah, man, you're wrong." <laughs> Moving on, next caller. It's very funny. He was Polynesian. <laughs> exactly. I like. Yeah, he never says it, or he never says it. He says, "Yeah, ooh, leave him hanging." No, no. Yeah, he said. Oh, he says it. He says it already. Right. <laughs> That's it. Congrats to Durs for placing 80th out of how many people at the Malibu Triathlon? Oh, we're touching Ooh. it. Oh, it. gosh, I can't remember. <laughs> I'm still going to send it. Uh, it was almost 1,000 people. Almost 1,000 people. Oh, my God. That's good, dude. That's very good. That's a top 10 percentile, man. That's good. That's good. But here's what happened. and you That you is incredible. It, it almost pisses me off. It's so good. Yeah, Blake is real mad. I am. <gasps> oh, what happened to your... You hurt yourself. Oh, uh, you hurt yourself? Swim went fine. Bike went fine. Run. Run went fine until the last third of a mile. I was like, I'm going to gun it. Because I thought I saw a dude in front of me that had a number that made me think he was in my age group. And I was like, I got to take that dude down. So I put it in oh, the high no. gear. All right. I okay. pass him and there he was go. like, let's bring it home. Hit him with the pound and like we're ready to go. Uh. I keep going. And then with a quarter mile to go, I just felt a snap like in my Achilles. No. And I was like, <clears throat> that can't be good. Keep going, keep going. Three strides later, it was snapped again. And I was oh. like, Oh. So you have to stop running. And I just like did a like a uh. I was running like those striders from the dark crystal that kind of have like a little hitch in their giddy up. <laughs> Uh, for yes, okay. uh, like a quarter mile and it was kind of a <laughs> bummer because if i yeah, if i just you, kept my pace i would have probably finished at the exact same time and not had an injury that i'm nursing right Fuck. so what what is the injury i don't the doctor thinks i just i um like snapped part of my uh, achilles damn you know like because it's like strands or whatever um i didn't train enough i trained for uh, maybe three weeks a little more yeah and i'd only run you end with a 10K, and I'd only run one 10K. Yeah, how far is 10K? What it, What is... Six, 6.2 six miles. Okay. That's not bad. And I'd run that once before, which is just not enough. That's always been your Achilles heel, though, no pun intended. Like, running... Oh, my gosh. Mm, oh, my. Points. Yeah. Yes. Pun accepted, my friend. Pun accepted. Points. Yes. Running is uh is is hard on your body. I just pushed it. I just always push it. I always think I still got it and I and I don't. Yeah, you do. Yeah, you do. I get that, dude. I get that. You have that competitive nature in you. And why is running the hardest for you? You're like uh and and from the photos it seems like you've ran and swam the titties off. To me I was like thinking Maybe your titties like kind of uh <laughs> hold you down and that's why you're not sure. you you're you're not the grit no, they're still there. They're still there. They're still there. Great at running. No, I saw that Your photo. You, those titties, you ran them right off. It it Nikki would have been great to weigh 10 pounds less. Well, then you're way fish. Your boobs are you're, huge. You're the, one of the skinniest I've seen you in a very, since since you were a true youth. I'm 190 right now. Is it, you're talking to a mesomorph, though. 
right? I'm 190. I'd, if I was 180, that would have been a lot easier on my legs to uh, run that hard. That's yeah. why we got to get that weight down, dude. It's hard on our yeah. legs. It's hard on our yes. heart. It's hard on our circulatory system. Thank you. Thank you. And I feel you as a, as a brother in injury. Yeah, uh, man. So they gave me a boot. I'm not wearing the boot, though. Yeah. I'm also injured all the time. And uh, By the way, all three of you been to the doctor in the last two months. Wait, but next year, n next year. I'm still standing. Da -dee -dee -dee. We know. Your indestructible <laughs> body just cut from stone. <laughs> next year, we got to do the relay. You got to get into that brain, it's though. that hot bod. Yeah, my brain, my brain not right. Very psychedelic. <laughs> go talk to that brain doctor, see what comes up. <laughs> go talk to that brain doctor. <laughs> yeah, you got to go to that brain doctor. <laughs> I've been drinking so many buzz balls, I got CTE, bro. <laughs> well, yeah, what? CTE. DDT? CDT yoga? Uh, Blake, what was with that photo of you <laughs> dressed as the fucking goblin or the purple goblin or whatever the fuck you were from? It was in a workaholics episode, but. Oh, yeah. Your ass looked non existent <laughs> to the point that Kyle thought I. That was CGI. Somebody fucked that up. No, that's his. He posted that photo. That's from Blake's Instagram. I had like a bunch of like very tight spandex layers on. So I had those it, purple pants. Oh. I had like biker shorts. Everything was constricting my butthole and balls and all that stuff. Constricting your butthole. Okay. Also, dude, best ass is hella subjective. So it's true. It's like the Emmys. <laughs> very yeah. shaggy. From Emmys to Hemmys, baby. <laughs> from Emmys to <laughs> Hemmys. <laughs> <to laughs> Hemmys. We're back. We're, We're back. back. <laughs> I was I was a little disappointed. It did Diarrhea. it didn't do you any favors, that's for sure. Yeah, it did not do you justice. Yeah. Freaking see ya. Well, you wanna see it? You wanna see it? I'd love to see it. I love your ass. I love your ass. You wanna see it? Yeah, let's get some ratings. Yeah, I'd love to see it. I'd love to see it. You want to see it? Hey, guys, this is why we need you to like and subscribe. Hit that smash Gee. button. Click that bell. <laughs> Hit that smash that, that like and subscribe button on uh, YouTube, I think. Nah. Yeah. I'm not going to show it. Vimeo? What are we on? <laughs> I'm not going to show it. Like, yeah, you bitch. <laughs> We're on YouTube, guys. If you're listening, you can see his butt. You can see all this hot, hot flavor. And are you going to show us the ass, or are you just... Eh, not going to show it. You can show it in underwear. We don't need to see an actual hole. Oh, oh he's okay. chunking so oh, hard. You're chunking so Am hard. I? Is it bad? Yeah. It's, ba it's that bad. Well, you went outside, didn't you? That's what <laughs> happened. You just Yeah, you're back in your hunting tree lodge. Okay, okay. okay. Really he's here. trying to show it. Brought to you by Stance Underwear. Get it away from the microphone, please. It doesn't look great, Blazer. I mean, yeah, Blake, it doesn't look that great, dude. What's what wrong with it? What have you done with your well, life? it's sort of not there anymore. Yeah, that is weird. Oh, oh hey, look oh, at that, oh, though. Cut, Hold on a second. Two. Hey, yo, we got a little front, front action. Yo, Blazer. Wow, for those of you... Am I chunking now? <laughs> Am I chunking now, bitch? <laughs> you were, yeah, you were. Yeah, you, you were, were hella actually, chunking. Yeah, yeah, yeah you, you were, were chunking yeah. pretty bad. Okay. Um, it was <laughs> went from underwear to right. no underwear. But that ass wasn't chunking. I think, I think maybe you ran that ass off. It's Thank possible. you, God. I did a yeah. lot of yeah. running. I might have, I might have run the dump off, but it's a bagel. You might have ran that dump off. I would love to run my ass off. How often do you run? I ran my tits off, and you run your butt off. <laughs> you run my tits <laughs> off. Yeah, those. That that's the key. It's that they. I can't physically run, so Perfect. that's why my fucking dunkers. That's what it is. Stays dunked, dude. <laughs> Dunkaroo. But, but by canes, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Booty <laughs> by canes. Come on, man. Oh, dude, I just saw. <laughs> Huh. The Caniac special for like a thousand wings. You can buy a thousand wings. That's insane. For a thousand dollars, you can buy a thousand wings. No, it's a thousand uh, wings. I, it's just a few hundred bucks, but it's like the party platter that you can get through Canes. I'm like, this seems. Who's counting those wings? Some like sixteen year old is like <laughs> ninety nine. Yeah, <laughs> it's like ninety nine. The fuck, it doesn't matter. Just get it. Oh, fill the whole thing. They probably weigh it right. That's the cheat code. Is they're like a thousand probably. wings weigh this. So do that. Yeah. Right. Well, who's counting it when they come home with it? You know no, some fat no. fuck is. Yeah. <laughs> you know some fat fuck is. Right, exactly. <laughs> a group of, like, teenagers watching the Super Bowl. Oh, uh, actually, there was only 976. <laughs> <laughs> All drumsticks, please. Good luck. Yeah. Although, obesity is a problem. Yeah. Just had a question. I was like, when you're running, like, and doing that, 
and uh-huh. the, doing the triathlon and stuff. Like, how fast are you running miles in? Like, how what is your time on that? Um, like oh. This is a QA. and I have my hand raised <laughs> yeah. in the audience. Yeah, dude. Really circle good back. question, Kyle. <laughs> we'll circle back. I love yeah. it. Uh, I have a great question. Uh, I'm just wondering, like... Blake's just a... Blake's an elementary school teacher. Really good question, <laughs> Kyle. Anders? That's a really good question. <laughs> Something, something like seven fifteen, seven twenty miles. Ooh. Wow, dude, that's I was. Ooh, smoking. That's with the injury. So like, that that was the average with the injury. Uh, okay. I wish it was more. Okay. Next year I'm gonna train for six weeks. Six weeks training. <laughs> I have a question. Uh, yes, Blake. I kind of made a joke about it on your Instagram, but I really have this question. Um, when you have the sa- you get out of the water and you oh run through God. sand and you have sand on your feet. It's all part of it. It's a part of it. Then do you put sandy shoes or your sandy feet into shoes and run? So here's the here's Go ahead. Yeah, Adam, go ahead. You were yeah, there. Adam. <laughs> have a little water bottle. You just you just hose them down it. right quick. And then that's the way. That takes right? up time. That takes up time. Well, Adam's a beach guy. Now let him answer <laughs> yeah. first. Adam knows. <laughs> okay. It's, 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 did you mention a beach? It, this is part of the sport. Part of the sport is how much <laughs> Listen, Blake, I'm used to sand on feet, okay? I know how to get it off. What do you know about a live live bait box? What is it called? <laughs> Quite well. <laughs> uh, from last week, dude? Come on. Oh, I don't remember. Wow. I've got a great memory, like a trap. Fucking live well, dog. Uh, <laughs> Part of triathlon is racing uncomfortably, right? So if you want to take the time to get the sand off your feet, great. Good luck. You can do that. Or you can just go and just mm. deal with it. It doesn't matter. Oh. That's disgusting. Okie dokie. But you took the time. I had a towel in my little transition zone that I step on and I do like a little dog kind of yeah. like just took a dookie thing and I kind of wipe my feet on that mm-hmm. put my socks on that would fuck me up so bad like running in shoes with sand that would fuck me up so bad well here's the here's the trip I put I took the time to put socks on okay most, most pros no socks when they're cycling or running they're just Ow. like barefoot sand wow dude how how now here's a question are everybody wearing shoes? Are there is there anybody who does it barefoot? Are everybody wearing shoes? Is anybody running barefoot? I'm sure somebody's running barefoot. Are yes. everybody <laughs> wears shoes? I'm sure somebody ran barefoot Perfect. or in those do- those dope sandals, those like barefoot sandals. Absolutely not. With the little ropes that go across and around your ankle. That's what I'm talking about. I can't even walk barefoot. Oh, like if I if I'm barefoot like if I just like halfway through the day don't like didn't put shoes on or socks on in the morning, I hurt so bad by mid afternoon. Really, just from walking barefoot. And that's that's because your feet are tender, or because your legs are ones longer than the Guys. other. Yeah, what is this about? You have neuropathy. I no, I think. Do you have neuropathy? No, it's just <laughs> my fucking science? like. Since so there's no trauma? cushion, and I think the, the the trauma for my grandparents. Yeah. Uh, no, I don't have any like cartilage in my ankles or my knees, so I think like right. I need the cushion of <laughs> shoes and socks <laughs> just to right. fucking go about my. Is it your joints that hurt, or the actual like? It's science. Oh, that's neuropathy. Yes, it's it's my it's like my joints and my ankles and my and my, my knees. joints, my joints. <laughs> yeah, it sounds like neuropathy. Happy harvest season. <laughs> Yes, oh, did I tell Happy you guys harvest. that I... Uh, <laughs> hey, we're one week closer to harvest. So my nuts, you know how there was fluid in my nuts? Yes, yes, yes. And so... What's up with uh, your... Mm-hmm. You have, is that what, what happened? Yeah, yeah, there was fluid. Is that the sponge? This The little bag of worms? Yes. Yeah. So And so I guess there's fluid in it. So I went to a urologist and he was like, it's a normal amount of fluid. It is muscular. It's muscular? Pause. Wait a second. Yeah. What's muscular? The injury. So I tore my groin muscle. He's like, it's really muscular in here. Like six. (laughs) Thank you. It's like six months ago when I was shooting the (laughs) Pitch Perfect show. Right. uh, Doing like a dumb fucking split that I Mm -hmm. could normally just do all the time. Uh, But now I'm I'm old and can't do the things that I could used to be able to do. Yes. It's the worst. It's the worst. (gasps) And so uh, he's like. The, it the muscles around your balls 
basically are contracting and are pinching a nerve that mm-hmm. then shoots pain down yeah, into my yeah. nuts and then yes. down my <laughs> yes. down my thigh. Yeah. Uh, down my her. thigh, white hot pain. Down my thigh. Uh, yes. So I went to this bro, oh this God. fucking uh, bro physical therapist guy that just like mm-hmm. got grease and oil all over his like elbows and just was fucking digging. Dil- Did you say dildos yeah. or elbows? <laughs> uh, run it back. <laughs> See what I said. Elbows. So he's rubbing his elbows like into my groin, which is so Perfect. weird. It's just and are you like dead bug or what's the are your legs up in the air kind of like up. someone's eating your butthole? No, he has like a little pillow that I've like I've like have my leg like positioned on. Uh like no, all these of, are like, your on your side? I'm sorry. Just both, will you paint the picture? Ways. Do not come. These are your psoas muscles. So I had a, it in between my legs and then no, like not this. Psoas. Uh, like this, and then like that. They're not the psoas muscles? Right. Okay. What are psoas so, muscles? <laughs> okay. Like under <laughs> your obliques, behind your obliques, basically. Okay. They're not the psoas muscles. Okay. Um, maybe. I don't, I don't know. Kyle's trying to say the buzzword of psoas. Do not come. Kyle's saying a lot of, lot of big words over there. <laughs> Yeah, he really wants to say so as so as so as is a buzzword in the physical therapy world right now. So Kyle, go ahead. Maybe it's so as I don't know. So no. as it's you got a sore ass. And also, did you know that they don't call physical therapists physical therapists anymore? They're called like physiotherapists. They added an O to yes. it. That seems yes. weird. They were like, you got to go to a f- physiotherapist. I'm and- not saying it. I'm not saying it. <laughs> and then I go there and I'm like, this is a physical therapist office. He's like, yeah, we don't really go by physical therapists anymore. And I'm like, okay. <laughs> Him, her, they, physio. I'm not saying it. I'm pissed uh, out. But anyway, so he like ground <laughs> me therapist. out. It was so fucking painful. And then I'm walking back to my car. I'm a pissed. I'm a pissed out. <laughs> you felt the nerve. I'm pissed out. Like the muscle relax around my nerve. And I felt Shit. good. Oh, cool. Good, good. Yeah. yeah. It's magic. It is then, magic. Oh, he got it. He got it. And then he went, and then I went back on uh, on that Monday and did it again, felt great again. And then he, I was like, he oh, so it. can I ride a bike again? And he's like, yeah, I think you could get back on a bike again. Rode yeah, my I bike see. yesterday. Last night We're I felt like back. someone kicked me, kicked me <laughs> in my balls again, dude. Yeah. And now I'm in <laughs> South Carolina, and that, that doctor was in Newport Beach, so. Ah. Uh, <laughs> uh. <laughs> You're a big baller. Fly him out. Fly him out. Put him up. Yeah. have him. That's probably what he wants you to do. You, yeah. I should just fly out this bro doctor. You might be able to get a wreck. <laughs> just get a local wreck. You know, maybe you can just hit. I should get a local wreck. Yeah. Bro, honestly, I could be your personal doctor if you just let me crash on your couch, dude. I would love it if one of you guys could, <laughs> would rub, could rub me down. I didn't know I was going to be a guy who enjoys just hard, hard rub downs by by muscular dudes but it works it is the best yeah it's my favorite that's like if you roll out on that thing like if you roll out on the band and shit it just hurts so fucking we talking so as dude if you roll your so as is out man you know that shit feels hella good but uh-huh. it hurts so bad it does it feels so, so bad. fucking good it's like what and now they're saying like you got to open up your hips you know uh-huh. you gotta like Durs was saying that too that's all the rage is open up your hips mm. what the fuck how do you open up your hips because he told me i need i have to open up my hips and i don't quite i feel like i'm like you sit like this do you know it's do you know the yoga move pigeon is no. Yes. You, YouTube mm. pigeon and then do that all the time, basically. I don't want no pigeons. <laughs> you put your leg in front of you like this and you lean on it. Okay? Uh, okay. Like a figure four kind of like a. Okay. Who, who's known for the figure four leg lock? Um, Ric Flair. Flair. Yeah. So you basically go. Whoo! Who is Ric Flair? He's the leader of the four horsemen. <laughs> no, yeah. that that's the Jeopardy <laughs> uh, question. Oh, that's mm. sorry, my yeah, bad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's uh. all good. Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah, do that. Open up your hips. Wait, what was that? Who is Rick Floor? Rick Floor. Rick Floor? <laughs> That's if oh, a dude owned like you a guys, flooring company. Wait, hold on. Come on down to Rick's floor. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Wood. Uh, Rick Flair has a weed company now. Yeah, oh yeah, no franchise. pigeons. <laughs> yeah, no, but mm-hmm. lots of pigeons. Yeah, sporty things, mm-hmm. sporty Open up your hips, dude. Uh-huh. You just put your leg like this across your body, and then you lean forward. (laughs) Wait, this is the... You don't remember No Pigeons? That's kind of a deep cut. 
sporty. Oh yeah, that was that was thieves. one of my faves. <laughs> I love no pigeons. Wait, who, love, it was so a, dumb. Huge sporty thieves fan. Kyle was sporty thieves. <laughs> I don't know who that is. Yeah. Don't you don't remember no pigeons? I remember the song. I just yeah. did not. I don't remember the. Now, was that a clapback? It was. was. A clapback. It was a clapback to it, No Scrubs. No yes. Scrubs was the 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 hit song. TLC mega hit. Right. And then this guy, he had enough. You know, he was like, you know what? I don't want no <laughs> pigeons. And then people were like pigeons. And then he tries to explain it in the song, but it right. didn't really catch on in the same yeah. way. Scrubs, it, everyone knows what a scrub is. You're like, oh, that person's a scrub. You're like, yeah, you wait, can. They also spell it out, too. They're like, this is what a scrub is. And then you go, I got it. They do. A scrub is a guy who thinks he's fly. I know what a scrub <laughs> is, for sure. Uh, also known as a buster. But e even just upon hearing it, you're like, yeah. I don't want no scrubs. You're like, yeah. It, it also doesn't work. I'm also in agreement. Like, I don't want no pigeons. You're like, uh, I don't want no pigeon. I guess. But like a lot of people <laughs> like pigeons. Like Mike Tyson like has pigeons. Like he loves them. Well, I don't think it's literal. Um, but so but <laughs> also come up with a word that's just one syllable like scrubs. Because yeah, the pigeon, it's exactly. weird. It doesn't fit in the song. <laughs> Fuck off. Yeah. I'm just saying. <laughs> Blake is really standing by this song. No, seriously, though. Why would they? Because is that what it sounds like? No, but is that what it sounds like? Do they go, we don't want no pigeons? Yes. Dude, you know I can only play 15 seconds, and I don't know if I can land on the chorus. Bro, a scrub is a guy who thinks he's fly. No, yeah, we true. don't want no pigeons. <laughs> also known as a hustler? I think it's a buster. Yeah, we don't want no pigeons. Pigeons in the Is it a buster? It's a buster. It's a buster. A scrub is a buster. Another good clapback, and I, I'm going to get heat for this, but the R. Kelly version of If I Were a Girl, mm. strong. Okay, you can't. You can't. <laughs> it's like, what, is, what is this song? It's, it's Cadillacs. Are, it's, it's like, he basically, if, after Beyonce goes, If I Were a Boy, great song, right? He mm -hmm. was like. Which is a great song. <laughs> super dope. And he was like, whatever, man. If I was a girl, and you're like, well, not, no, it doesn't really carry the same weight. Oh, my God. <laughs> If he was a girl, R. Kelly's the last person who needs to say if he was a girl. <laughs> fucking bro, stop. It is hilarious. You're like, nobody needs Honestly. this. Nobody needs this, bro. We're good. All Even good. Let him have the song. Allegedly. Yeah, but that probably aged. That being said, Adam, terribly. go for it. Ad <laughs> but that being said, he's he's got he's got some hits. That being said, he does have some hits. So No. Oh, God. Yeah, no. I'd rather listen to Sporty Thieves at this point. <laughs> <laughs> Interesting. What's that other sporty thief song? Um, huh? What is that other sporty? J.K. Rowling's. I bet they do have one. Yeah. Well, I mean, we're talking about their album Street Cinema. Mm. Um, hey, like, nice. actually, kind of a cool title. Yeah. 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 yeah dope. I'm into that. Yeah. Life's a movie. You think? Hey, it's last <laughs> night was a movie. <laughs> was a movie, dog. Dude, they were so 2000 and early to that. Mm -hmm. Do you think they it's... were 2000 and early to that? That's right, Kyle. Can, can we give <laughs> yeah. Kyle some points? Sorry, I'm looking up Sporty Thieves stuff. Hold on. It's okay. Huh? I don't want them. You don't want points? I, no. Oh, no, no, okay. no, 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 no. Okay. Are you fucking crazy? Oh, now you're getting them. You know what? Wait, does he know what they are? Does he know what they are? I don't need your <laughs> points. I don't need your points. Oh, he's been in the Emmys. I don't need your fucking points, man. <laughs> No, 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 no. Take it back. No, you wanted them. I could tell. Come Take them back. Ah, shucks. Take them back. Are we there yet? Nope. Just 19 <laughs> minutes in. Go ahead. Are you thinking of Aquaman? What? As what? No. The song? <laughs> no, <laughs> no, I'm not. I sure? was kind of being sarcastic when I said what's their other song. Are you sure? Are we talking Aquaman as in like Barbie Girl? Oh, green Bowie Bowie. Green, Ooh, green. We're that's a good green, song. Right? Yeah, 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 yeah. What's the Fast compass? forward past the oh, shit list. Y'all really with this? Yeah, well, we got five minutes to so dive in it and get it with the quickness. Don't I'm not mad at this at all. I'm not mad that's at it, beat, but good beat. Beat. Thank you. Yeah, but that wasn't a hit. No one knew that. <laughs> I did. No, none of us were like, oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Did you, though? Blake? I do. I no, do remember you just... mentioning Aquaman. <laughs> I, yeah. I don't think you did. <laughs> Wait, did Aquafina, wasn't Aquafina, was she a legit rapper? Was she? Like, did I don't she? Know. Well, I know she rapped, but did she have an album or did she? No! Mm. Blake, play the most popular Aquafina song, please. Uh, yes, please do that, Blake. I don't know if she was. How would you spell Aquafina? Uh, well, it's A. I think it's A W K. 
Uh, dude, dude, obviously, just how it sounds. It's A W Q W. Oh wait, yeah, she's got a she's got an album. Hold on. Oh, she has one called. She has one called. Oh yeah, she does. A W Q W. That's dope. That's dope. That's dope. Is she stoked on that, or does she look back kind of like, well, it was a bit, and like, is it a comedy rap or is it real rap? It looks like it's real rap. Like uh, Chris D'Elia's album? Uh, <laughs> yeah, that was real rap for sure. Do you want to hear Aquafina? What? Her her number one song is Mar- Marijuana. <laughs> mm. Oh, yeah, well, play so, it. I like songs that are called Marijuana. All I know is the Wizards, if those guys were here, they would eat them alive. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. They would, dude. If that portal would just open up again. Oh. Yeah, start. Oh, wait, this. Okay. Oh, shit. You gotta pass forward. We're not gonna hear her. I got me a flu shot. That's right. I- flu shot. Okay. 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 So she's pro vax. This is 2014. She's 2000 and early to that. <laughs> okay. She was 2000 and early to the pandemic. We got a little information on our, from our producers in 2012. Okay. Song, My Vag became popular on YouTube. All right. So she had a YouTube okay. hit. Uh, yeah, that's cool. A response. Oh, it was a response track. Look at it this. All comes full circle. Look at this. Wow. What? Dude, the clapbacks are real. To Dirt Nasty's My Dick. No, Mickey Avalon. Well, but Dirt Nasty is the one I, I rep Dirt Nasty on that but one. But this is a. Oh, yes, yes, yes. I see what you're saying. He's on that track. Mickey, it's Mickey Avalon's song, but Dirt was featured. Is that the song that's like my dick? Yeah, <laughs> bigger than a pencil. <laughs> I can't. It did pretty. It did pretty well for those guys. Yeah, I remember that song being a hit. <laughs> my dick. <laughs> yeah, I think they toured off that song for several years. Yeah, for years. Like they were coming to a college near you and making some money. They say like my dick is bigger than a bridge. <laughs> Yes, exactly. That was right around the time that we were doing uh, Workaholics. <laughs> a- and it was like, that song was very popular. And the Asher Roth college song. Oh, yeah. Yes. And they wanted that to be our theme song. They, say- they wanted the Asher Roth uh, song. Which I think was a clap back to Alice Cooper's Schools Out for summer. <laughs> Oh yes, <laughs> clap back. The classic yeah, they wanted, Al Cooper. The they wanted trip. the Asheroth college song to be the workaholics yes, theme right. song, which right. I feel it would have changed the entire show. Would we would have lasted for three more. seasons. <laughs> I don't know if it would have. For sure, they would have been like, they're they're too old. Yeah, and that's and that's not that's not that's no slight to Asheroth. Yeah. yeah, no, no, <laughs> no, 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 no. Go ahead, hit it, hit it. Um, who I'm sure oh, is like a nightmare. <laughs> nope, that's not it. <laughs> he just hits buttons, bro. I love this no. guy. Ah, yes. But yeah, it, it does change the vibe, and it doesn't date as well as the Skinny Boys. Who somebody sent a link to us that was like they were just named as like people. They're from like people Albany or some shit. People and they just magazine. Got named. No, no, no. What's like a, <laughs> they were on like the list of the Emmy. Well, do you remember we tried to find them for? Month. Emmy runner ups. <laughs> yeah. Uh, we tried to find them for a very long time to like do like a party with us, right? right? Like we wanted them for South by Southwest. We wanted them for all kinds of things. And we just literally couldn't track them down. I get that they were, I, th- I thought that they were just like, I thought we did track them down and one of them like owned a barber shop and they were just like, we're not, we don't do that anymore. They, we're good. Yeah. I thought oh, they I did. It's been patch. 40 years. What? Sorry, I heard barbershop. I guess you heard pumpkin patch. Well, there's a few of them. Maybe one of them got a pumpkin patch and one of them got a barbershop. No. The other one was like, I want to go do this. Kel from Keenan and Kel was emceeing a pumpkin patch. (laughs) Oh! We talking Emmys? We talking Emmys? Dude! Dude, are we talking Emmys? Let's just go back to the Emmys for this moment. Adam, did you watch the Emmys? For a moment. I never have seen the Emmys. Okay, okay. So they're an award fuck? show for TV. Okay. Uh, and <laughs> Keenan hosted this year. Yes, he did. Ter- terrific. Mm. And he shows up at a fake bar that they have on stage, and he's, like, talking to people. Yes, he did. And then he he, so he does a bit with Kumail that well, happened, and then... <laughs> it happened. 
And Sudeikis in Sudeikis's bit happened. Right. And yep. you know, they're doing they're do, they're doing their best up there. It's Give like, me a hell yeah. yeah. They're yeah. set up as, to fail. As, as, as any comedian yeah. does, we just do our best. They're set up to fail. And exactly. uh, then he goes, Hey man, I don't know what that was. And he, the guy turns around at the bar and it's Kel. Yeah. I saw that clip. And the whole place goes crazy. Yes, sir. I flipped. I stood up. I was like, yes! Thank you, guys. It was I so that. tight. Afterwards, look at this. Wait, Kyle, you got the photo? I love that. Whoa! Oh, you didn't I bring that, that up last week? This is crazy. Okay. You said you shook Harry Winkler's yeah. hand, but you didn't mention- Henry. <laughs> I told you, bro. It was all- <laughs> Yeah, we're like, who, who like, did this, stopped you in your tracks that wow, you you dude. met? And you're like, Henry Winkler. This dude is burying headlines. This is what stopped me in my tracks. Kel stopped me in my tracks. Okay. Like, this is one of the only photos I have of the night is a selfie with me and Kel Mitchell, baby. I, I know for people. Unbelievable. Did you talk to him about our yeah. girl who was on? No. Uh, Lori Beth? <laughs> Lori I Beth did Denberg? Not. I did not. Denberg. I know that Keenan and Kel obviously meant a lot to people that are li within th three to four years of our ages. Yes. Yes. Does it mean anything to anyone else other than it's we're so nostalgic? Older or younger? No. We're so nostalgic for it that like they're excited that we're excited? It's, it's, it's huge for us, though. Huge. Yeah. Yes. I can <laughs> tell you that I was in the room when Kel was revealed for this moment at the <laughs> Emmys. Mm -hmm. Oh my God. I stood up and I was very excited. I started like, I looked around. I was the only one standing. I was, the pain from my back disappeared. <laughs> okay. All right. I was, I was. You started a chant. I was like, yeah. There was no longer any pain in my body. Woo. I was hyped. I stood up and standing. Oh, like this is happening. And nobody else was yeah. standing. And every, you're like looking around. You're like, yeah. Alice and Janney, you better get your ass up. <laughs> Sterling Brown, fucking stand up for this shit. It was so dope, dude. That was the best thing that the Emmys did. This whole, that was the best thing. Was yeah, it was such like a niche thing that like, and I, because I, I watched the the clip of it, and there was no joke to it. It was just like, Kel's here, and they they just hugged, and they were like, oh. Well, he said something. I can't remember what it was, but he said something about like either burgers or orange soda. And I was like, I don't know. Like good burger. That's... I think it was a good burger. Yeah, it was good. I, yeah, he said, I'll take a good burger or something like that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah that was his line, man. <laughs> yeah. Fuck yeah. It was good. It was fucking good. <laughs> I mean, yeah, that is good, but it's like. That's a, it was such a niche thing for just us. And I'm like, that's cool that they let that happen at the Emmys. Normally they're like, yeah, but people won't, not everyone will get it. So you can't do that bit. I'm glad that they let uh, Keenan do that. Because by the way, Kel, it's not like Kel is like a bad dude or, or like, you know, uh, no. went off the rails and is a guy who's missing an action. He's still just like, I mean, he hosts this show on Saturday mornings for kids that my kids watch. And I kind of dig really? them watching him too in like a different way. It's like a, about animals or something like that. Oh, dude, I had no idea. That's sick. It's pretty sick. So like, I like that he- Then why does your face look like that, Blake? What does it look like? <laughs> you just go, that's Lord. sick. Speaking of kids, real quick, I just want to show this to the screen. <laughs> I left my phone out when we were texting before the show, and my kid somehow, like four years old, got the thing. I think he started trying to type his name, but then this is what the smart type turned it into. Hey, Ru for toxic butt cheeks. Butt cheeks. <laughs> hey, Ru for toxic butt cheeks. What was he trying to spell? Oops. Winning. I think he was trying to write his name, Hayden, and then like uh, the rest is. Uh, <laughs> hey, you're you, butt you for toxic butt cheeks. Oh, that's pretty good. I, I like that you write butt cheeks enough that it yeah. auto corrected to butt cheeks. And toxic. Oh, you know, <laughs> what, it, you know what? You know what it is? He what? might have hit them. I, I hope Durs is the type of person that's always going like, oh, you're so toxic in text <laughs> messages. He might have hit the, his favorite, he says butt cheeks constantly. Uh, well. And he might have <laughs> well, hit the microphone funny. and said something like, that's life. Hayden something, something butt cheeks. Hayden something toxic <laughs> butt cheeks. Yeah. Does he know? Does he say, does he know the word toxic? Like, ew, like daddy, daddy, please stop touching butt cheeks. Um, <laughs> uh, 
<laughs> Does he know toxic is like smelly or bad? Like, oh, my no, butt he, cheeks are toxic. Right. No, he doesn't know. His first word was robotics, but he doesn't know that um, <laughs> the word toxic. <laughs> That's always my favorite his, dad joke. My well, first word was robotics. Oh, man. I'm going to take that. I'm going to take that. I don't think he knows uh, toxic. No, I'm sorry. Damn. What, what are we at here? Uh, are you going to play the Britney Spears? 29 minutes. We're looking at about 30 minutes in. Yeah, we're about halfway. Are you going to play the Britney Spears toxic song uh, like for him? Well, here's my question about that song. It's apparently okay. okay. Is that her best song? Because every list I see from like best songs of that Toxic. era or greatest <laughs> songs of <laughs> all time. <laughs> That's yep. the song, right? That song is very high. Yes. That one's sick. It's, she's on like an airplane in the video. Um, I think that song's very good. I do. I remembered it right away. And it's like the <laughs> her, her, her best song. Well, what's better? Je uh, I was going to say genie in a bottle. That ain't her. <laughs> I'm a slave for you. Oh, yeah. That's Neptune's. Yeah, that's not as good. I guess toxic. I can't deny it. I think I like that video more. That She was very sexy in that video, yeah. I mean, the Britney bitch one is with Will I Am and Britney bitch. That's got to be better. What's that one? What is that one? It's more of like a dance, like the, the, the like world dance style song. What is it? How does it go? It's Will I Am and Britney Bish. What's up, bro? That's the hokey pokey. Uh, yeah, yeah. What are you doing? That's the take. That's the chicken dance. <laughs> yeah. I, what, what the fuck are you talking about? I mean, the other song. I don't know the song you're talking about, Anders. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Yeah, it's that Britney that Britney Spears song where you put your right hand in. You put <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> That's the chicken dance. <laughs> yeah, it is the chicken dance. They didn't remix that shit? Yeah, no. Will I am and Britney. <laughs> I'm sure someone has, but no. It's Britney, bitch. <laughs> you know that song. <laughs> Stop doing it. That shit is hard. <laughs> Yeah, why are you holding on? What's going on? Don't keep doing it. Everybody knows it. We heard it the first time. Like the, it's clear. We know the song. That's not the one we're talking about. One, it kind of sounds like. No, it doesn't. Boom, 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 boom. No, it doesn't. I like this track a lot. Yeah. I think this probably has the most attitude. Yeah, this one has some attitude to it. Wow, that's all we got. <laughs> that's all we got. Ooh, okay. Okay. And that's it. That's 15 seconds. <laughs> Those intros hard. The Will I Am and Britney Ooh. bitch one's like. Play that one because I need to know. I need to be reminded as to what this song is because I think Toxic is her best track. It's it's something that you definitely heard drunk at Comic-Con. Is it called Scream and Shout? Yes. Scream and Shout. Scream and Shout. Shout. I don't know if I know that one. Not, not like Toxic. You said Toxic, and I knew exactly what that one was. You're going to know it. You're going to know it. As soon as I press play, you're going to know it. Adam, Adam, you're going to know it. Adam, you work out to this song. <laughs> Go. <laughs> Adam's like, I don't know. You're going to stand up and start doing this. No, I only work out to pop punk, dude. You want me to skip ahead a little skip bit? Skip ahead, please. Yeah. I, I don't. You got a feeling. Watching us. They watching us. This. They yes, watching you us. Everybody in the club. Uh, Scream at the house. And in and I don't just know get the song. The, just please get to the part. I don't know where the it's, fuck it is. <laughs> it's Will I Am and Britney, bitch. Like the whole Britney no bitch is from this. Yeah, this is yeah, it. This is not definitely even not a spot player. Oh, oh, oh yeah. Scream it. and shout and let it out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know that song. Look, he's working out. He's exercising. <laughs> yeah, no, that song is not her best song. Wait, why didn't you let it ride? That was the Will I Am and Britney bitch right there. <laughs> well, then we would have to pay Britney for it. Mm -hmm. And I'm sorry, bitch. We're not gonna <laughs> we're not gonna pay it. I never heard I never heard that song. And she needs it. She's getting would you, you just call her a bitch? I was calling you the bitch. <laughs> no, you, you bitch? said I'm sorry, bitch. And I think you're talking about her to me. I would never disrespect That's a huge bitch. Brittany. Oh, yeah, the bitch. I'll jump on that grenade. He was referring to me yeah. as the bitch. You're damn right. 
I would never disrespect Brittany. Well, yeah, that's not even, that was just truth. Yeah. <laughs> yeah I was. There's no grenade to jump yeah, on, yeah, bro. Yeah. That was just. We're all Brittany boys. Fucking communications class 101, homeboy. <laughs> Uh -huh. Why, hey Kyle, why don't you just drift? Why don't you just drift that chair right out of frame for me, pal? Look at this. Did any of you guys take a hard stance against uh, Brittany? And you guys were um, what, Adam? What was the other girl's name? The uh, genie in a bottle, Christina Aguilera. Christina Aguilera. That's who mm -hmm. I. That's who I. Yeah, yeah. Were you guys? Any of you guys took the hard stance and were like, "She's way. I like her way more." Great well, dude, you know, I mean, we've musically for sure. Musically, yeah. Yeah, she's for sure more mm. talented. Yeah. Yeah. I have a signed drum head. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Covered that. I know. I'm just reminding you guys that she was it's like she could much sing. more better. I. Don't know if I can name a, a song besides Genie in the Bottle and Moulin Rouge. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I feel like she didn't have as many hits. She was a little hit factory. Yeah, right. What's the one? You're Beautiful? Is that her? I am beautiful. Yeah, there's no better song of Britney's. No matter what you say. And that's uh, Christina like, Aguilar? Like, that's what I think about all the time. When you guys pile onto me, that's yeah. what I think about. That's what you look at it when you see, yeah. look at yourself in the mirror. Whenever I get off this fucking podcast, I go play that song and I know oh. I'm somebody, bro. Well, it's powerful. That's powerful. You think of that of points. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what, Durs? What, you hit me. You think that about us or yourself? One more time. Hit me, baby, one more time. <laughs> That's Love points, that. but I'm, there it I'm is. trying to pull up your track. I don't want the points. <laughs> <laughs> you've made your, hey, you've made your points. I don't want the fucking points. How about I'll take, I'll take those off. Yeah, you can have the points. Oh, God. Words can't bring me down, baby. And that's 15 seconds. <laughs> See, this is such a you know the song. This is just a classic. I fucking love her. I love her. Look, Adam's Adam's working out. And that's it. Adam's working out already. <laughs> Adam does tra you see us? Just trap raises to that. Shrugs or whatever. That's uh -huh. now that's trap music right there. Is what you just heard right there. That's trap music. <laughs> So you're working out the traps? Is that what it is? <laughs> That's funny. That's a good one. Give yourself some points. <laughs> yeah, take okay, points. Okay, I'll get it. <laughs> Give yourself some points there. Speaking of <laughs> trap music, uh, what's the fucking Two Chains album? Hot Girls yes, Love points. Trap. Oh. Hot Girls Like Trap Music or whatever, whatever the pink one is. Uh, yeah, that, I don't know the name of any album ever made, but. I threw that on the other day. It is a banger. Dude, and it feels like chains, a classic at this point. Two Chains rocks. I love Two Chains. It's so good. It's so good. Every song, the production is tight. And it seems so nice. I don't know. I don't even know the words that are coming out of your mouth, dude. <laughs> two Chains, man. Come on. He's the best. Uh, let's see here. He's the best. <laughs> I'm looking up Two Chains right now because I couldn't tell you what the man <laughs> looks like. Two Chains? You don't know who Two Chains is? He's tall, long hair. Oh sure, yeah, tall, long hair. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Oh man, he rocks. He, he's got really cool. Yeah, his hair rocks. P pretty girls like trap music. This album right here. Oh, classic. throw this one, uh, Adam, when you're working out. <laughs> <laughs> now that's trap music. Well, it didn't even come out that long ago. I thought this that's was going to be like one. at least ten years old. This came out in 2017. That feels like a long time ago. I know, but it feels like things move. Things move so fast now. It's not classic, yeah. I love that you uh, are so on top of two chain shit. You have an album from just a handful of years ago. That's that's great. <laughs> I don't have a, a new hip hop album. But think about when you were in middle school Since and an album came out, and then by the time you were a senior, you were like, "Man, I just had to throw on Dookie. It's been so long since I heard that shit." Right? Dude, I did that. Well, sure. Dookie came out in '94. I was in third grade, fourth uh, grade. But that's what I'm saying. It's like, but yeah. The, yeah, the, yeah. we've talked about this before. It's called yes. an instant classic. The the like six years spread of like going back, like when you get older, 10 years moves like one year, but like when you're young, shit becomes classic real quick. And this feels like you couldn't throw it on 
at a club because it's too old. Mm. It, mm. it feels like classic now. Like, what is the hit uh, off of this album? Give it to me, Blake. What? Oh gosh. Well, you got to. Uh. What is the hit off of that? One? <laughs> I mean, See? I don't know. I don't. I've no. I have no idea. I mean, he's. I'm not a. It's a vibe. Was the big song. Oh yeah, but that one. It's a vibe. Of, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Dun, 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 dun. But my sure. shit, good drink. Uh, go, number three, good drink. It's a vibe. <laughs> yeah, you know it's a vibe. <laughs> oh sure. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. Yeah. 4 a.m. with Travis Scott is also. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Wait. Uh huh. Okay. Here's good drink. Uh-huh. Drink. <laughs> this is right out the gate. Good drink. I, I like that. Okay. I like that song. Oh yeah, this one's great. This okay. one right here. Yeah, this whole album. Yeah. This album rocks, dude. I love this album. That's what Dirty is saying. This fucking beat is so good. I don't know if I know this one. I'll skip ahead for the last three seconds. Wait. Yeah, used to treat my mattress like, like the ATM. ATM. Uh. <laughs> yeah, okay, sure. It's so good. That's a club anthem. That's a club anthem. Come on. So are we all huge 2 Chains fans now? Oh, I'm a massive 2 Chains fan. And Absolutely I, massive. All he wants for his birthday is a big booty hoe. Well, you, I, Blake, you're not massive. You didn't know what the hit songs were on this album. I don't know the names, but yeah. as soon as you play them, I know they're freaking black, blank, blank bangers, bro. Come on. <laughs> These things are out of this yeah. world. Yeah, fair enough. They're blank, blank, blank bangers. And if there's anything <laughs> that Blake loves, it's blam, blam, bangers. <laughs> blank, blank, bangers. <laughs> bro, I know they're blam, blam, bangers. <laughs> Give me a hell yeah. But bro. Dude, though, that album goes hard. It, dude. Every track is fucking gold. I guess you're right. I love two chains. I'm listening to that as soon as we finish recording. I'm listening to yeah, it. Yeah, as soon as we wrap up here, I'm playing that until I, I have to go to bed chains. in like 30 minutes. Uh, I have to wake up at 5 a.m. I have such a healthy. It's good. It's good for going to bed. I know. I got that <laughs> yeah. problem too. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I have such a healthy relationship with two chains. Just every year it gets stronger. Never going to go to bed. <laughs> <laughs> so um, hard to go to bed after a podcast, and then you gotta yeah. wake up so goddamn early. Yeah, because I'm so hyped up for talking talking to my boys. Two chains, two chains is the rapper. Well, maybe not any, not now, but five years ago, he was the rapper who was having the most fun, mm. just having like the best time. Now I think it's Drake. Now I think it's Drake. I think Drake really knows how to have fun. Yeah, but it's manufactured at this point for him. He can't be having what? any fun anymore. Fuck it. I think he does. No, Drake has a lot of woes. I think he's well, got a true. lot that's of woes, true. dude. Whoa. That's true. <laughs> oh, Black he's Robin. Been... <laughs> dude, he's been too rich for too long. <laughs> no, 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 no. Drake has been <laughs> yeah. too rich for too long. Once It yeah. stops being fun. Remember how fun it was? Exactly. It's a. It's like a job now. The first couple seasons of Workaholics? Yeah. Mm. Yes. Yes. And that's on the absolute smallest scale. He's yes. on the largest scale. Right. Now I got to tell the gardeners to stop watering so much because we're in a damn <laughs> drought. No, dude. No, Drake finds ways to have fun. Remember when they like a helicopter? Well, this kind of sucks already, but remember he took a girl on a date Yo. at Dodger Stadium and just like had dinner? I love that you teed this up. Bro, I went to high school with that girl. <laughs> See? <laughs> what? Love it. <laughs> Shout out. Do you know her? Could you could you uh oh for sure hit her up? Uh no, I don't I don't have her information. If I saw her, her, she would be like Anders home. You'd be like, (laughs) it's Anders, actually. What up? But for people who don't know that story, like he had like a candle lit dinner like on the field of Dodger Stadium. Of course, like which is cool, yeah. TMZ like rolled up, but that's fucking cool, dude. Of course it's cool, but is it fun? It's that's not good, fun. Like, I don't know if that's fun, right. man. When yeah, Once you right. have all these fun. things, once you have, like, these entourage and you have to do it and you have to organize all this shit. It kind of sucks because that's the only place he could do it where he felt like he could be alone. He had wow. to rent out a baseball Damn. stadium. Damn, it's too much dude. work. Dude, think about it like that. Damn. That's rough. Yeah, you couldn't. he couldn't just roll to the Cheesecake Factory Damn, and just dude. fuck up some chicken littles. Adam, that's mm. hella real, dude. No. You are keeping it one hundred, you know? brother. Drake, he's out here, man. He's in Toronto. I got to keep it a hundred. What do they have? The Tex-Mex egg rolls? Fuck. Ooh. Ooh. Hey, Ooh. Dude, hey, the bread. Hey, next the time bread. we're all in town, do uh, <laughs> them boys roll up to a cheesecake factory? Ooh wee. 
Get that meatloaf? Oh, oh. Wait, who are you talking Ooh, to? Butthole. Who are you talking to, Adam? To us. Has everyone here had the meatloaf at Cheesecake Factory? <laughs> to me? Yeah, to you, dude. <laughs> To Anders and to Blake. Yeah. Next to, next Emmys when you're here. Well, then, yeah. Let's do it. Let's do um, it. In November, I'm coming back out there. I'm, I'll be in L.A. You want to go to Cheesecake Factory? Everyone here has ordered the meatloaf at Cheesecake <laughs> Factory, right? I, I just had to circle back. Hey, I'll be, I'll be back for a week in November. When are you back? I need meatloaf information. <laughs> Adam, let's hang, bro. Let's hang. <laughs> Has everyone had the meatloaf? I'm back there. I'm back there beginning of November. Guys, stop canoodling and answer this question. Have you had the what? What do you say? Just saying? be honest with me. Have you <laughs> had you the say? meatloaf? <laughs> Have you had the meatloaf? <laughs> I've had every meatloaf ever made, bro. <laughs> this is the hardest stance Durs has ever taken on the pod. Have I, you had the meatloaf? Have you had it? Of course I've had the meatloaf. I, d I, don't, I don't think I've had the meatloaf at Cheesecake Factory. When I go to Cheesecake Factory, which isn't, which isn't enough. You don't listen to 2 chains. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> which isn't enough. Two meatloafs. I always have to get the chicken Hold littles. Up. <laughs> My rap name is Two Meatloafs. <laughs> Wait, what is your whole thing about the meatloafs? Though? Do you Two love it? Bomb or what? Do you love it? It's the biggest meal you've ever seen. Like when you get it when you're 14, you're like, oh my God. <laughs> It is next level. Hold um, up. The chicken littles, though, I'm sure, oh they're, I'm sure they're tasty. Next time, I recommend the meatloaf. <laughs> Yo, me and Two Chains <laughs> rolled in the Cheesecake Factory. We both got meatloaf. It was sick, dude. Dude, then we just ended up sharing one. Biggest Jeez. meal I've ever seen. <laughs> me and Two Chains shared one meatloaf. <laughs> we wow. used to roll to that uh, the dude. Cheesecake Factory in Sherman Oaks quite a bit. All the time, baby. Mm. Yes. Yeah, Twenty butthole. I'm, I'm, I miss those days. Simple, simple days. Did you guys get those the lemonades with all the sugar on the rim? Ooh yes. wee, baby. Oh, God. okay. If we don't get a gift card out of this chat right here, the brown bread, the brown bread, the brown mm. bread, Dude. baby, with the butter. Ooh. Dude, I always stuff myself with the brown bread. What's wrong with me? What's wrong with me? Oh my. God. Yo, Outback used to have really good brown bread, but I feel like Outback kind of started slipping. Honestly. I can't sub I can't nah. even get on board with Outback. Nah. I hit it up a few years ago. No, nah, Outback used to be cracking. Mad doo doo now. There's one across from the aquarium, and I was like, all right, let's go. <laughs> you said there's one across from the aquarium? <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. Her, Hell my yeah. boy. <laughs> are you not are you not going to the Long Beach Aquarium, bro? Oh, uh, so fire. Great jellyfish. Great Off jellyfish. the chain, and there's a strip of restaurants <laughs> down there. See, that's why I need to have children, because that sounds so yes. fun. Aquariums. Yes. <laughs> but if you're just a I mean, you can, but you don't. Sharks on sharks on sharks. <laughs> Two chains. Sea otters, dog. <laughs> Right. You, just as like a guy, you just don't go like, I'm making an aquarium day or I'm going to Legoland. Yeah, treat yourself. But you got to have kids <laughs> to take to. So you're like, I want to go to a place that I want to go uh. to. And then maybe they'll like it, too. Right. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> No, you don't understand. The aquarium is fun. Shut the hell up. Shut up. <laughs> look at look at this. That's a goddamn octopus. I know your feet hurt. But there's an Outback next to it, and I was like, Outback, like I see the commercials. Let's let's head it up. And it was oh yeah, Long Beach, unbelievably <laughs> bad. Well, what's good there? The what about the Bloomin' Onion? The Bloomin' Onion was bomb. Have you never been to an Outback? We, we, we got it. I had never been to one, so I was like, let's oh, do it. Bloomin' Onion's bomb. Revolutionized the game. There's no waiters. There's no waiters. Bloomin' Onion is the most famous appetizer in the last 20 years. N prove me wrong. That is true. But it's a ripoff. The blue. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Bro. A ripoff. The Bloomin' Onion is a ripoff of the Awesome Blossom. A ripoff? Awesome Blossom was first. It, is that what I'm talking about? Oh, that's what it is. Awesome Blossom. That's Outback. That's Outback. No, 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 no. Out. No, yeah, that's Outback what I'm is of. the Bloomin' Onion, mate. So what's the Awesome Blossom? Okay, so what? So what is? What are you saying? What? What was the awesome blossom or whatever you just said? The awesome blossom was. Um, is that Chili's? No, dude. No, I think dude. It's I thought oh, Outback was now. was first. They started it. The fact that our producers aren't getting in on no, this. Something. <laughs> Help us! We are drowning over here. <laughs> uh, no, well, but because listen, I uh, I was convinced that they started. Outback started the Bloomin' Onion. That's was they made did. them that no. put them on the fucking they map, did. and no. it's it was like yes. they were super bummed when you had to put Thank like you. the the calorie count. Yes, preach. <laughs> like a decade ago is like news yes, it's because it's like that it's like eight thousand calories or some fucking crazy bullshit. Producers, 
Help me, help me, help me, help me, help me. Yes. I'm, I'm convinced that this is right. And yes, I think I think Chili's no. also doubled down on it. Oh, the information has come. Bloomin' Bloomin onion. onion. Is our- oh, Bloomin' Onion. Bloomin' Onion is our icon of appetizers created in 88 by... Icon appetizers in 88. Okay. Outback Steakhouse. Outback Steakhouse. I really, really want steak. <laughs> hey, Todd. <laughs> Outback Steakhouse. Todd, give me the sweet, sweet information on the Awesome Blossom, please. Thank you. And what Good is name. a more legendary appetizer? Give me an, it's, by the way, it's going to be like 87. <laughs> it's going to be 87. Dude, the Bloomin' Onion is the most legendary appetizer in the last. I would, I would agree. That is, that is wildly famous. It's 50 years. 50 years. Well, 88 isn't, <laughs> yeah, isn't no, that, 50 years I like ago. Your like, <laughs> that's not close. That would mean I'm 50. The Awesome Blossom is discontinued for five years at Chili's. Great. Okay. Well, when was it? it? When did it start? How I'm not so okay. rude. So, it's just happening. <laughs> You're getting fucking busted right now. So I guess it, it's been discontinued for five years at Chili's, the Awesome Blossom. So yeah, it for trash. sure wasn't as iconic. Yeah, because it's it's probably been over 50 years. It wasn't as iconic as the Bloomin' yeah. Onion. <laughs> exactly. More calories. <laughs> and also the little trademark, the registered trademark mark behind the, the Bloomin' Onion. I see that. That's, that's, yeah. that's, that's nice. Sorry, Durs. Your little Help awesome blossom is a fucking... Help me out. Is a joke, bro. <laughs> you know what? You know what? This is so typical. This is so typical of what's going on. What are you still hanging on to, Anders? Yeah. What are why? you still hanging <laughs> on to? Just give it up, dude. Outback is the fucking original okay. gang banger. <laughs> yeah, they pro- they can't find it. But they don't have waiters, and that's a problem. <laughs> yes, they do. Dude, this no, is insane, The one I went to, bro. you had like a tablet, and you like ordered it on the thing, and then that's, nobody that's, showed up. Oh, well, that's that's mad doo-doo, admittedly. It's a fucking and I brown. haven't, I, I went to a uh, an Outback maybe five or Did six you- years ago, and I also had a pretty disappointing experience. <laughs> Fuck off, bro. <laughs> Yeah, what? Oh. I, and I loved, I loved Outback. I'm just Goodbye. saying it wasn't great when I went about five or six years ago. Okay, oh, served off. in fuck 1990. Off. It was two years after. When was the last time you went to an Outback, Blake? You're like acting like you have stock in Outback or something. <laughs> like you're, you really need them to fucking skyrocket here. It used to be. The truth comes out. It, it used to be great. I'm with you. It used to be my birthday dinner. Okay, oh, true. Wow. that is true. I went to some birthday dinners over there. I said, yeah. I said, we're pulling up. I'm getting the ribs. I get the spiced apples. I get the fries. You dig at the ribs. Come Mine on, was bro. Sizzler. I think my family was poorer than yours. You say Sizzler with an extra Sizzler. syllable? <laughs> Sizzler. 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 laser. And this is, I drive a Tesla. So, okay. So, hey, here we go. Here's the, <laughs> you want to read yes. it, Durs? Yeah, I do. And I, I... I um, apologize. What? You no, can no, do no. that Let later. Let me say that. I'll say that. <laughs> uh, mm-hmm. I retreat. What is the word? Retract. The awesome blossom began yeah, being served in 1990. Yep. Okay, oh. two. So years. it was two years. The blooming onion. So I was wrong. After the blooming onion was catching the world. I was wrong. You guys know <laughs> a lot fire. about. Dude, you know what though? <laughs> I remember <laughs> you guys. <laughs> you know what though? When I first went to Outback Steakhouse, it was also yes. a disappointing. Uh, <laughs> time, off, bro. Because they, they on the team. <laughs> I thought I know I love Outback Steakhouse, but well, we're saying it's fallen off. We wanted to get back to its glory, Blake. Yes, everything's okay. fallen off, right? I remember thinking that everybody was going to have Australian accents, and they didn't, and it oh. fucking bummed me out. Okay, that's just stupidity. Well, I still had a bad time. Hey, well that. I mean, admittedly, that'd be pretty fun. How do you say di- how do you say diarrhea in Australia? <laughs> Uh, hey. <laughs> it's called the boomerang. <laughs> What's the beer called? Foster's. <laughs> Australian. Foster's. Australian for beer. Um, <laughs> what's here's here's a crazy de- not a I don't know what it is, but for my birthday dinner. Try out back again, man. Try we it. would go no, no, that's probably dumb. uh <laughs> we would go to a place called Hackney's that's like it's it's there's a, there's two Hackneys. of them in the Chicago land area. I'm on my way. And work. what they're known it's for a disgusting habit. is an onion loaf, which is like mm. uh, essentially okay. the same shit. I think I've had it, explain to me. Doo-doo. 
onion loaf. It's a fried. It's fried onions, but it's like it shows up in a big like square loaf. Oh, and so it's like, oh, like, it's like bang, onion strings, that. like onion strings. Yeah, and you gotta like pull them off and whatever. Ooh, that's fire. Yeah, I had that. It's not as good as, not as good as a blooming onion though. It's like we, a brick. No, nah, the uh, blooming onion is way different. Apparently, it was no. created in New Jersey at a place called Scotty's Steakhouse, which is now known as Scotty's Pub and <laughs> Comedy Cove. Oh, okay. we're doing the pod live from the Comedy Cove. Fucking a Comedy Cove. I love it. <laughs> Your boobs are huge. Wow. So they're saying they started it in 1970s? Mm, interesting. Wait, so Scotty's Steakhouse huh. actually, is? am I tracking this right? I want to track for our listeners. The, the Scotty's Steakhouse made the... Made the made the bloomin' onion in the seventies. <laughs> but what did they call it? Is that what they're saying? They called I, it. Um, Kyle, track it for our listeners. Yeah, you know, I'm just want to track this for the listeners real quick. And there's a place called Scotty's Pub in Comedy Cove. Can I give you guys some credit here? I googled Awesome Blossom Wiki. <laughs> is this the loaf? And then the first thing that shows up is bloomin' onion Wikipedia. Yeah. This is basically yep. our true crime pro podcast where we find out yeah. and get to the bottom. You're, you're chunking. Am I chunking? You know, our agents are always telling us to find like IP that we're really excited about. We got to <laughs> take in Bloomin' Onion. <laughs> we want to make this movie. You hear about these movies. You're like, oh, like uh, Michael Keaton's going to be like the McDonald or the windshield wiper guy or the McDonald's guy. And you hear you're like, really, that's a movie. And then they're casting it. And they're like, everyone's on it. It's going to be fucking huge. And then they kind of go away, right? <laughs> I don't know. I kind of liked The Founder, which was the Michael Keaton McDonald's movie. I'm it was kind of cool. It. <laughs> I know, but it's 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 not like a... They have their moments. I think he was nominated for it. I think it was... I think they would actually hit the awards. Yeah, I thought it was cool. Isn't... There's a Flamin' Hot Cheeto movies coming out, right? <laughs> I'm not joking. <laughs> no. Is that real? Uh, no, I know. And like the that, Beanie, yes. the Beanie Baby movie too is like coming out. It's the Flamin' Hot Cheeto movie, dude. Is there? Where's the? Where's the Mountain Dew Code Red movie? It's it's military based. Where's the Dave Thomas biopic? Where's the Dave Thomas biopic? Everyone's attached. Oh, Dave Thomas biopic is good. I actually, no joke. I had a meeting on it. I'm gonna make a square burger. <laughs> See, I'm not. I'm not joking. I had a meeting on it. Hey, Wendy, get out of the kitchen. The Dave Thomas biopic. Wait a second, Wendy. We got to talk about one other movie. What's up with the uh, the the greatest last beer run or whatever? Oh yeah, Zac Efron. Why isn't why why isn't us all of us in the movie? Well, you know, I had the rights to it for what, two years. What the freaking? I had man? the rights to the greatest the 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 greatest beer run. And then. <laughs> And then I lost the rights to it, and then Peter Fairley got it, and then yeah. he cast uh, Zachy, Zachy Boy, and not me! Aww. But uh, wow. it is a really cool story. There's a, the documentary that they did on it, because it's based on a true story, mm. uh, is re really cool. So Yeah, that's the whole marketing campaign. This mm. was real. Wow. Some I guy mean, actually did this. Real. Because it was, it was fucking insane. It's like this guy was drunk at a bar and there, there was all the Vietnam protests and he was like, you know what? These kids are over there fighting. Like it's Boiler not their alert. fault that, that right. people hate this war. I'm going to go give him a beer. And everybody at the bar is like, you should go give him a beer. Right. Just thinking that he's drunk. And then the next day he took off with a duffel bag full of beer and made his way to Vietnam and like lied and said he was military and like stole uniform and, and like went behind enemy lines right. and found his friends at like three different camps. And there was a point that they are under attack and someone gives them a gun. Here's a hot, hot beer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, totally. Uh, totally. The beers for yeah, sure suck, but uh, we have tons of beer here. <laughs> I mean, it's a fucking insane story. Didn't they have a shit ton of beer? Yeah. you. I mean, in the movie, yeah, I don't know how real it was, but yeah. in the movie Forrest Gump, they had pallets of yeah. Budweiser. Yeah. We're all doing heroin now, dude. It's kind of the new thing. But thanks for the beer. Yeah. Ooh, we don't like even like beer anymore. 
I mean, that's a totally different movie. They're just so heroin. They're just on way too much H to yeah. even know who their friend is. They're like, huh? You Can you hand me that rubber hose real quick? Yeah. Is it a, like a beer bong? It is not, my friend. It is not. <laughs> Do you think at any point that dude was like going to Vietnam and he was like, yo, they're going to make a fucking movie about me one day? <laughs> That's the only That's reason he, doing that. <laughs> he was like Adam dancing in the front yard. He was like, if I do this with style. He was, like, he was me when I'm seven years old looking for a scout. <laughs> Coming to theaters. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. fairly has got the touch. I was standing in front of him at the airport the other day, and I almost turned around and was just like, you're the best, dude. You fucking. Yeah, they, he, yeah he truly is. And I didn't because I was like, he's. Eh. He, and yep. <laughs> sometimes, sometimes you don't talk to them. Yep. They don't need that. I mean, Kingpin. Tufty. Kingpin, dude. Kingpin. Is King is Kingpin the funniest movie ever? Ah, love Kingpin. My God. I mean, unless you go me, myself, and Irene. That's hard to do. The funniest <laughs> movie ever. Oh my God. Or Dumb and Dumber. They did Dumb and Dumber. Hot streak. Yeah. Kingpin was something else, man, when that came out. Oh, yeah. Kingpin, I think, might be one of my favorite. And something about Mary. My God, dude. Kingpin had the most, like, uh, hot, 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 hot. like stink on it that, to me, was like, we're going to do this one our way. The other ones seemed like they yeah. knew they were nailing, like, a pop sensibility. And then Kingpin, they were like, let's get a little bit weirder. Right, um, right. Let's let's just run with it. But yeah, me, myself, and Irene. Jim Carrey in that movie is incredible. When he falls down the hill and it pops back up, weird, wild insane. stuff. You, as insane. a director, you're like, he's a master. Gold, print it. Well, I remember they transitioned. Like he's like, the, I always think of this transition when I think about that movie when he's squatting on the lawn and then they cut to the soft serve. Right. In the oh. next scene, do you remember that shit? Oh. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. I'll never forget how that worked. Yummy. In the theater, the entire audience was just like, was like oh! oh! It's so cool when you get to right. watch. Oh, this ice cream, this ice cream, this ice cream. Yeah, when you get a laugh on the edit, that's that's very cool. Well, no, like even just like being in a fucking room with people mm -hmm. watching the same movie and you're like, yes, mm -hmm. yes. Like we fucking, yeah. that was funny as now, shit. Now, we're not, now we do a podcast and we're not even in the same room guys i miss you i miss my friends and when we are don't like it <laughs> yeah <laughs> kind of weird it's not as fun it's more We've it's more comfortable it this way no yeah. no i yeah. like it no yeah. i like no it. i love it can't talk over you guys the way i normally want to yeah, yeah you can't use zoom as an excuse to just keep barreling <laughs> uh -huh, uh -huh. <laughs> my microphone is fucking up you guys are my headset is so fucking loud right now. When Blake hits the soundboard, it does not feel good on the ears. Yeah. <laughs> Wake up. Oh, man. Sorry, man. Mm. I'm also. I feel like I've been. I feel like I've been chunking the whole damn time. I'm in a bad room. I'll never. No, you did great. I'll never be here again. Do you guys have any take backs, <laughs> apologies, any epic slams or giveaways? Mm. I got a question. Are Are Blake and Kyle standing like? Are you guys at the next to the exact same doors? What's, What's happening up? there? Kyle, let's do a reveal. Yeah. Come in here, All right. man. Here we go. Come on, Blake. <laughs> Come on in, buddy. Uh, we actually are roommates. <laughs> that would be so tight. We left our families. We're fine. We can finally yeah. be together. <laughs> God, that would be awesome. I would have loved to hang out with What's that Kyle? I'm looking, I'm looking at you and I'm looking here and I'm like, uh, <laughs> What's that Kyle? It would be I awesome never... if Blake was here. It would be awesome. <laughs> Um, oh, I thought I thought you were talking about being lovers. He was chunking. You were chunking. I've never seen doors like that. Yeah, you're life. being chunked. Oh God, I miss you guys. I miss you guys too. Uh, I miss you too so much. Oh my God, I miss you. Hey, I just want to pay a little bit of respect to the awesome blossom. Um, Thank you. Sorry, hey, the blooming we... onion, blooming onion, blooming onion. Thank you. I was like, wow, is this a um, bit? Is this a fucking bit? Yeah. Wow. Wow, dude. Um, <laughs> Yeah, it was first. <laughs> wow, but dude. But apparently not. But a, a, the, but the, it was before the Awesome Blossom. Right. Scotty's Steakhouse. Really big mm -hmm. of you, Durs. Um, I know this is really hard for you. Scotty's Steakhouse and Comedy Co. I know this is really, really hard for you. You guys know my background with time. I don't I don't know when things happen. I don't happened. know it. <laughs> <laughs> Can't read a clock. Okay. Don't know when things happened. So give me a little leeway. Um, you got it. Uh, that being said. Yeah, never, never eating it uh, out back again unless okay. they give me one. Of, Dude, take all the time you need. 
Unless they give me one of those cards where I can eat every. By the way, the Hooters. Did you guys ever get the Hooters card from them? The Hooters card. I did, but every. But what? What happened? Burbank closed their doors. Oh man, son of a bitch. I'm so sad. The Hooters card. It was a hundred dollars. A hundred dollars every day if you yes. wanted to yes. to eat at Hooters. And yeah. I was, it Perfect. made me feel like I was about to become somebody who just takes people off the street to Hooters yep. every night. <laughs> yep. And it was yeah. like, yo, ball out. You can get yep. unlimited wings with $100, essentially. No alcohol allowed, just, just food. And then... Uh, That's a lot of wings. Tons. Daytona style. I think I, I ate there once after going to the aquarium, brought the family to Hooters. There we go. I was going to say, it's right there. And I think I left the card in the thing, and that was the end of that chapter. So this was like a celebrity card that you got? Yeah, what are we talking about here? Me and Durs tweeted about it, like with Mindy. Yes. She was like, any recommendations for places to get wings? And I'm like, yeah. is Hooters and Burbank still open? Yeah, and I tagged on like, hey, their tater tots are actually pretty good. Yeah, she did. <laughs> She did. She did not respond. Hey, what's well? What's going on with Canes then? Because I keep talking about it, and they've epic tweets, guys. They've never given me anything. Yeah. Uh, yeah, because they're doing fine. Hooters are closing their doors. <laughs> yeah, that's true. That's true. And is the Outback going to invite us back in to sort of clean up the reputation? Because yeah. the last few to. experiences that we've all had, pretty doo doo. And and I I have a soft spot in my in my heart for them. Can I ask you guys a real serious question? Would you rather sure. eat at Chili's or Outback? Seriously, Ooh. answers. Oh, seriously, Chili's. Serious answers only. Well, now that I'm a now I'm a absolutely Chili's. I truly love eating at Chili's. Still, what would happen if you brought a blooming onion from Outback into a Chili's? Gung day. I think they ask you to leave. What would happen? Because you're bringing outside food in. They would jump you. They would fucking jump you. <laughs> they would be pretty upset. I'll tell you what. Do you think they would say, we know what you're doing? I think you bring any food. No, there'd be like a 19-year-old manager just being like, if uh, you take a picture with me, it's all good. <laughs> ah, you can have other food in here? Yeah, I think you bring any food into another restaurant and they're going to be a little salty at you. You sit yeah. down with like a <laughs> microwave dinner? And also, the only time I eat at a Chili's is... Do you think they would know it's different? The only time I eat at a Chili's is at an airport. Well, they don't serve serve it. They don't serve it anymore. That's it's been discontinued for five years. What if you're like, uh, actually, we'd like to send this awesome blossom back. And they're like, where did you get that? How did you get <laughs> those? <laughs> uh, well, did you, did like, you fly in yeah. with this? We ordered it. Mikey just brought it over here. And they go, there's no one here named Mikey. <laughs> no, 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 no. Where the fuck did you get this? <laughs> hey, asshole. And we're By all dressed like it's 1990. <laughs> this is why we can't do a prank show because our hey. pranks are like... <laughs> So hey, we, go, we go into Chili's <laughs> with an awesome with a blue and onion, and we say a ghost brought it to us, and, they, and we film them and go, I don't know. Oh, Wait, and we're dressed like it's 1990, it? and we keep saying things like, "Whoa, dude!" It's all that in a bag of chips. Who the fuck made this for you? Point out the chef. Who made this for you? He was just here. he was here. He was just here. I, I think his <laughs> name Ted said Mikey. Mikey died in Mikey? 19. <laughs> Mike's that was like, him. What? Yeah, that was him. The guy who died, that was him. Well, uh, a, a fucking 50-year-old guy in the back goes, what did you just say? <laughs> yeah, that's him. Comes over like, it was on a night just like tonight. And then he just does Pee-wee's Big Adventure in front of us. But the that fuck? part is not part of the prank show. And now we're like, whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> Oh, right. no, they they start pranking us. We're hooked up. No, we're scared. Keep rolling. Keep rolling. <laughs> yeah. And now we're a ghost hunter show. <laughs> Stretch. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Oh, man. I do remember that pitch, too, by the way, when they're like, hey, we want you guys to do a, a ghost hunting show that's, like, scripted. And then they showed us the one that isn't. And I'm like, we can't beat this. This is <laughs> hilariously stupid. Like, there's no way we'll make a better show than this. Yeah. They're like, but, like, bring the stoner stuff into it. I'm like, seems hi, like hi, a lot hi, of work hi, hi. to yeah. write a show instead of do what these guys are doing, which is just – sleeping spending the night in like a barn with a infrared camera or whatever in a haunted you want us place. to write scripts we're good well, no just go out and do that that sounds way harder yeah just go out and do it can we just get some cameras and that's why workaholics was basically a reality show bro oh how high were you in the morning <laughs> pretty high dude pretty high uh so so that we have one take back 
Any uh, giveaways, Blake? Uh, I want to introduce a new thing. Oh, good. Uh, I love this part. It's like at the end of the. It's at the end of the pod. It's called a buzzer beater. Uh, If anybody in Ti Nation has a buzz ball, (laughs) (laughs) you're allowed to take a buzzer beater at the end of the pod and set you right, baby. Slide in his DMs (laughs) and send him the video of it, please. Here we go, man. (laughs) Kyle, man, what are you looking at, bro? What, dude? I'm watching you. What the fuck do you want me to do? Be happy for your friend. Yeah, I'm, be happy for I your friend. I told him he could do That's... anything he puts his mind to, man, and this is what he chooses. <laughs> mm. Mm. It's wild. Hey, you're not it's even just drinking wild. it, dude. Yeah, yeah I even think everybody it. beat you by now. You're not done. <laughs> yeah. So Anyone you that is part of this you, challenge. All the borders, <laughs> we're beating the buzzer, baby. <laughs> yeah, if you have... I like how he says we're beating the buzzer. Is, instead of just saying buzzer whole, beater, which makes sense... <laughs> He's still working on it. If you finished your buzz ball by now, you've won. I beat a buzzer beater. It's, you got to beat dude. Blake at slamming it. Tight one butthole. People are on their second or third buzz ball by now. My God, man. <laughs> We're just beating the buzz. <laughs> what do you got to go do? Rake the leaves, man? What's going on, yeah. buddy? Oh, my God, guys. And that's, oh, that's he's the done. first he's official done. buzzer beater. <laughs> and he's done, everybody. Stop. Another episode of <laughs> Put Your Buzz Balls this Down. Is Put Your Buzz Balls Down. <laughs> he already finished. I like how you sang that. If I were a girl. <laughs>